guys, I'm Evelyn and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day. So today we are decorating an apartment which would more or less be perfect for the 100 baby challenge. So this is an apartment for either one or two parents. There is also room for two teens, two children, two toddlers or tiny humans as we prefer to call them here on the channel and also a baby and all of the rooms except from the mom's room. So that would be the 100 baby mom or the parents room. It depends a little bit on what kind of household you have in here. But all the other rooms, so the teens room and the children's room and also the tiny humans room are quite big. So if you do happen to have a family, because when you're playing through the 100 baby challenge, you won't have two teens, two children and two toddlers at the same time always. It just doesn't work like that. It takes longer to get through certain life stages compared to other ones. So you'll often end up with more teens compared to children and so on. But the rooms are so big that you can just, you know, delete a couple of pieces of furniture or whatever you want to do, move some things around and you can make it suit your family. It's just perfectly fine. So I did take that into consideration when I made the floor plan. I think the floor plan in this apartment does look a little bit like my last floor plan in this apartment, except that I moved the kitchen. So it's been a while since I've decorated in this apartment. It's the, oh, I think it's the 20 Culpeper house. It says up in the upper left corner right now. I just can't see it on my screen because it's way too small, but it is listed or shown up in the upper left corner right now. And in case you have the same issue as me where you can't see it, you can always scroll down to the description and all the information about the apartment should be listed there too. It's been a while since I forgot that the last time as well. So just want to point that out. Like it's usually, everything is usually written in the description. So yeah. And also I was initially trying to go for this sort of color scheme. So a little bit more colorful and blue and this sort of middle, or how do you say that? Like a mid wooden tone sort of brown color. I don't really know how to explain this color, but I ended up changing it to a very cutesy kind of pastel color scheme because I thought, I thought it had been a while since the last time I went for a color scheme like that. It turns out that it hasn't, but I love decorating in, you know, very pastel-like color schemes sometimes. Plus, I feel like it fits perfectly for the 100 baby challenge too, because it is a very, I don't know, there's just something about that challenge. So it's the same with Big Sister. I feel like for Big Sister challenge, it's also... Because I don't know what it is. There's just something about that color scheme that goes really well with those two challenges. So I did end up changing it, but I hope that's okay with you guys. The rooms are also quite like color scheme wise. They're quite cutesy, I want to say. But I did try to tone down the color scheme just a little bit in the teens room. And I would say that in the mom's room as well, it's definitely quite toned down compared to, for example, the children's room, which is very pink and red and I don't know. I was very inspired by the different swatches of the Discover University flooring. So the carpet, I think, or yeah, the carpet, because it comes in a lot of different swatches that are very colorful. Some of them are a little bit too much for my taste, actually, but the three ones that I chose are quite like right up my alley. So you'll see that in a little bit. And also I actually went through furnishing the entire children's room and also the tiny humans room. And then I realized that my recording program was not open. So I'd been recording nothing basically. <laughs> basically I hadn't been recording cause I just kept pushing my button to stop recording and start recording. But obviously since the program wasn't open, it didn't really do anything, but it doesn't warn you. So I should have kept an eye on it. I didn't, I'm stupid, it's fine, but everything should be uh, about the same. So I did, I did delete every single piece of furniture in those two rooms so I could record them again with the recording program started and opened and all that stuff. So um, yeah, that happened. It happens sometimes, not too often for me, but it does happen. So it sucks a little bit, but it's all good. I don't think I ever use this sort of, I don't, it's not a ladder. It's from Backyard Stuff Pack. I don't think I ever use it for interiors, but for some reason, I just really wanted to use it in this apartment. I think that I also ended up putting a fair amount of plants around the apartment actually. So not necessarily just plants, but actually a lot of flowers too, because I felt like 
they just fit with the whole like cutesy vibe we're going for. And of course, the parenthood counters, as always, when it comes to these sort of apartments, they just come in the perfect swatches. They're not, you know, rustic or too traditional or anything like that. They just have the right vibe to them, the right style and the right swatches. So they're perfect for this sort of interior and also the parenthood tiles in the background. I have gone for a lot of different accented walls throughout this apartment, by the way. So you won't see a room that is fully white, like has full on white walls all the way around the room. There'll always be either one or two accented walls. I think in one of the rooms I actually ended up having four. No, no, I didn't. I don't think there is one single white wall in that room and it's the children's room but it's not over the top, at least not for me. I guess that's subjective, but for me, it's okay. <laughs> I've used this brick right here quite a lot throughout the apartment too. I think it's a base game brick actually, and I believe it came with an update at some point, possibly around, I wanna say get famous, but I could be mistaken, but I don't use it too often. I was considering using one of the other white, uh, what's it called, base game bricks as well, but I decided to go for that one instead. It does have a slight grayish vibe to it, but I thought it just, I don't know, I thought it fit the apartment better than the other white one that I've been using quite a lot lately. So I went for that one and in here, as you can see, I did, okay, so what's going on on the sides of both the fireplace and the TV right now is that I'm placing some shelves and I'm gonna put a lot of clutter on them in just a second. But I just wanted to make sure that I had the shelves and also these poles that are from Toddler Stuff Pack, by the way. I just wanted to make sure that I place them down so that I wouldn't forget this idea that I had. So that's what just happened. And I think we're continuing on with the cluttering and stuff now. Of course, we're also putting some more decor here. I think these garlands or whatever they're called are from Seasons. They come in a lot of different swatches too. And the fairy lights on top of the TV or above the TV are from Parenthood. So is the coffee table and also the couch that I'm using here in this room. So I've been using quite a lot of stuff from Parenthood throughout this apartment actually. <laughs> but again, it's just, it's one of those packs that I just feel like the vibe of the, of the furniture is just perfect for this sort of apartment. So both 100 baby challenge interiors, but also uh, big sister challenge interiors. I don't know. It's just very playful and colorful and cutesy and family oriented, obviously, since it's from parenthood. So I wish we got more furniture like that just so we could mix and match with some other pack. But I don't know. We'll see in the future. Hopefully around. I don't know if it's going to have to wait until the community stuff pack comes out, but I don't know. Also, let me know. What do you think will be the next expansion pack that's released? Because I personally have no idea. I feel like we'll probably get it in June because they've been releasing expansion packs for the past two years in June. So both Seasons and also Island Living. So I think they're going to continue on with that schedule or whatever you call that. But I have no idea what kind of pack it would be. So I'm really curious to hear you guys out on that. Honestly, no clue, but I'm still excited, so. I also tried to place quite a lot of toys around the apartment because I know that just from personal experience, I don't have kids, but I do have one big sister. I have two big sisters, but one of them has two kids, two sons, and I've been to their house just once, I think, maybe twice. There are toys everywhere, so I feel like if you have kids, you have toys everywhere. I don't know, you may be a bit of a more, how do you say that, not clean, but tidy parent, like some of you may be, but I feel like it's more common if you have kids to have toys just about everywhere, especially in the living room area and also in the children's and also the toddler's bedrooms, of course. And I also put a toy box in the dining room, actually, which is why I didn't place one in the living room because I felt like it would have just taken up so much space and they could just walk from the living room to the dining room anyways and pick out toys from the box. So I felt like it would just be a little bit unnecessary. So I left it out from the, or I decided not to put one in the living room, but they have like both the, I don't know what that is, like a battleship kind of game from Kids Room Stuff Pack. And there is also a plushie, obviously books. And I think there's a couple of building blocks and one of those 
a bear sets bear, doctor sets whatever for the kids too. So plenty of toys. But now we moved on to the tiny human's bedroom. I think I forgot to say actually, but the overall color scheme that I decided to go for in the common areas was like white, pink, purple, a little bit of blue as well. And I think that's about it, but it's not like it's not a very obvious kind of color scheme because there's so much white furniture. So I just wanted to point it out. But in here, we are going for very inspired by the carpet right here. So lots of white, lots of gray and sort of like, or not gray, but beige and also this sort of yellow color. So just very inspired by the carpet, to be honest. I just decided to pick some of my favorite swatches of this carpet and then just kind of design the room according to that carpet, if that makes sense. I also did add a little bit of pink in here just to add some more color so it wouldn't all be uh, yellow because I felt like that was a little bit too much. And also because I couldn't actually find a bed that was full on white or just white and beige, white gray or white and yellow. So I had to go for this one that's white and pink. So I felt like if I chose that bed, I would have to add a few pink pieces of furniture or decor pieces or whatever to the interior as well. So kind of, it would be a little bit more cohesive. So in here we are again inspired by the carpet. So I went with these beds that I believe are from cats and dogs. I'm just basing that off of the fact that the headboard looks like a cat head. So anyways, and also the handles on the bedside tables. It looks like a paw or something. Also the lighthouse. Actually, I'm about 99% sure that those beds are from cats and dogs. Also, we're going through this room a little bit quickly as well because I did already decorate it and then I had to delete everything so I could do it on cam. So I kind of already knew where I wanted the different items to be. That's why we're going through it a little bit quickly. They do get a, not a table, a desk so they can sit there and do their homework. I didn't put one of those in the tiny human's bedroom, but I felt like it wasn't really necessary because can toddlers even sit at desk? So they also have a journal each. And I do believe that I focused a little bit more on skill building items compared to, or if you're comparing it to the toddler's bedroom where I definitely put in a lot of toys, but the children can always go to the toddler's bedroom and play with their toys if they want to. It's not really an issue in The Sims. And they also have plenty of toys themselves in here, just not as many as the tiny humans in the room next door. I would say that this is probably the most colorful room in the entire apartment as well. This carpet, not this one, but the children's room, that carpet is definitely the most colorful swatch out of the three that I went with. So it is very colorful in there, but I kind of like how it turned out. And then in here we have the teens room and I went for a lot of the different items from Discover University in here. Actually, I just didn't want to, I didn't want to go for the same kind of vibe that I went for in the other two rooms. So, or in the two other rooms where I ended up using a lot of stuff from Kids Room Stuff Pack, for example. So both the desk and the bookcases in there were from Kids Room Stuff Pack and also Toddler Stuff Pack, obviously. So in here, we are going for a lot of stuff from Discover University. The dresser is from Discover University, the beds and the other dresser over there. Actually, let's call that a wardrobe on the left side right now. I do believe this desk right here is from Base Game, but the chair is from Discover University. And they also have a laptop in here. So it is the only computer in this entire apartment. I did not manage to fit in a computer in the mom's bedroom, but that's just how it is. So if you want to earn money, because you know, when you're playing 100 Baby Challenge, if you're not, or if you are playing according to the rules, the mom can't have a job. So she kind of has to freelance something. So if you want to earn money off of programming or writing, you'll have to have your mom, <laughs> your founder, heir, whatever, sit in this room and work, which is a little bit awkward. You could also just make the teens work. I mean, a lot of people do that when you're playing the 100 Baby Challenge because... There's a lot of pressure on the mom and the teens can either paint, they can do programming or gaming, streaming, whatever. So it's always, I don't know, they can also busk for money if they have a guitar or something, they can go on the street. I did place a guitar in here just to make sure that that was a possibility because I actually did not place an easel anywhere in this apartment. So if you want to play in this apartment and do the 100 baby challenge, First of all, you are going to have to cheat because this apartment is too expensive for a starter budget. So when you're playing the 100 Baby Challenge, you don't get to 
just live wherever if you follow the rules you start out with whatever money you have and you have to have a starter house that's just how it is but a lot of people cheat that because starter houses are not the most exciting houses to live in which i can totally agree by the way <laughs> so same though same so um yeah you you might have to cheat to actually be able to afford this apartment but i felt like that was i didn't really have to explain that because you guys know how it is here on the channel i don't really do budgets because that means not a lot of decor, not a lot of clutter, and I'm all about the clutter, so I just, I don't like budgets. I don't like them in real life, I for sure don't like them in The Sims, so I just don't, I don't do budgets. So in here we have the mom's bedroom, and I went for white and purple in here, so not a whole lot of purple though, I think it's mainly just from the pillows on the bed, and maybe a couple of plants around the room or something. There's a little bit of pink in here too because the bassinet that I went with was pink. I just felt like the pink swatch would fit the room a little bit better compared to some of the other swatches, especially the green because purple and green are not too pretty together in my opinion at least. So I also managed to fit in a dresser in here. That's why there's no room for a computer unfortunately, but that is just how it is. I do want to say sometimes when I've built tiny houses and I've left out a dresser because they're not actually essential to gameplay. If you have a mirror, you can do the same in a mirror as you can in a dresser or with a dresser like for gameplay purposes. It's the same. So for tiny houses, they just take up a lot of space. You don't really need dressers, but I always get comments on it. I mean, it's just, you don't like, in case you didn't know, Mirrors and dressers do pretty much about the same. You can change the Sims appearance in the mirror, you can change clothes, you can even, you can, you know, practice charisma, you can't do that with a dresser, so actually a mirror is better for you compared to a dresser. Just want to point that out, but there's a little tiny house tip for you guys now that tiny living is coming out. It might be uh, handy for some of you, I don't really know. I've kind of been considering doing a how to build tiny houses video, but I'm not sure that I'm gonna do it because how would I explain how to build tiny houses? You have a small box and you put some decor on it and put some furniture in it and that's it. I don't really, I don't really know, but I've kind of been playing around with the idea, so let me know if that's something you want to see. And I've also been playing around with the idea of doing a like a proper building tutorial where I would build a house, a very simple house, but very slowly so that you guys could follow and just, I don't know, build a house with me or something, but not like a, not like a let's build, but a proper building tutorial. So I would be talking about hotkeys at the same time, even though I'm on a Scandinavian keyboard. I would do my best. I don't know. Let me know what you think about that. Again, it's just another idea I've been playing around with, but if it's of any use to you guys, let me know. And then, of course, the last thing we're doing is decorating the bathrooms. So the mom did get her own bathroom. I thought that would be kind of necessary for her also because I feel a little bit sorry for the moms in 100 Baby Challenge. Not gonna lie, like, that would be a stressful life, so I feel like the least I could do was give her her own bathroom, but everyone else in the apartment has to share one and that's just how it is. They also have laundry machines in there and I think that's about it. So if you guys like this apartment, you can download it off the gallery. My ID is EvelynYT and you can also find it under the hashtag Evelyn or EvelynYT. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe and all that good stuff if you did and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. you close maybe hold your hand a little while somehow i know you're gonna be the girl that i'll end up calling my own we ride around in style sleeves rolled up glasses on and then you make that smile and my heart starts racing when i'm with you
songs. <laughs> 